everyone, it's Tutorials by A here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make this really awesome citrus wave bracelet, and I absolutely love how this looks, and yeah, that's basically my thoughts on it. I love how it looks, and I've also created another bracelet that is similar to this. I think this is, I will be calling this the Bloom Burst bracelet, and we'll be having a tutorial in the near future at the time of filming, and yeah, so keep checking back on my channel for this bracelet. It's a little bit similar to this one. So I thought I'd give you guys a heads up on that. But anyways, before we get started, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And just to let you know, the materials needed section of this video, which is coming up right after this, has some really crazy lighting in it. My camera's weird, I don't know, but the rest of, of the video has matching lighting that you see right now. My camera is weird, I don't know. So anyways, now without further ado, let's get started. So today you will need any type of loom. You will also need a hook. I will be using a metal tip hook today. You also need one C clip obviously to clasp your bracelet together and then you will need as many colored bands as you'd like. For the border of mine today I'll be using white. You will need about 52 of those and whatever color you want to be the intra inside kind of a citrusy part of your bracelet Oh goodness, sorry, I bumped the camera stand. You will need about 28 of those bands. So anyways, all my supplies today are from the Rainbow Loom Web Store, including these two packs of bands right here that are online exclusive Persian collection bands. And I've got rainbowloom.com in the description box down below in case you'd like to check them out. So anyways, my lighting is really weird, sorry about that. So anyways, now without further ado, let's get started. So we're gonna first start off with our looms arrows pointing down and don't mind this pin bar with the arrow right here. And I'm going to start off with my border color and we are going to create the border of this bracelet. So first off, you're going to go on the left as well as the right right here. Then after that, we're going to go vertically on the left and diagonally on the right so that we get something like this. Then we're going to go vertically on the, on the left and center pin bars like that. Then we're going to go diagonally just like that. And now we're going to go vertically on the center and right pin bars. Going to go diagonally on the left and center and then, oh goodness, drop that one, vertically on the right. Then we're going to go diagonally right here. And then vertically on the very left, vertically in the center. And as you can see, we're creating this kind of wavy pattern. Vertically here on the left, diagonally again here. And here and then vertically on both pin bars on the middle and right vertically on the right vertically or diagonally sorry here and then here vertically on the left And then we're going to go vertically on the left here again. And then go diagonally here. As well as here. And then we're going to go vertically. Vertically. And lastly, we're going to go diagonally. So when you're finished, your loom should look something like this. And now we're going to go ahead and start adding kind of the petals on the inside for the citrus part of the bracelet. So we're going to start off by going vertically. And then diagonally. Oops, sorry about that. And diagonally here. Now I am going to go ahead and switch colors and go to my blue. I'm 
I'm going to do two of those, and then I'm going to go back to my pink, go vertically, diagonally, and diagonally here. Then I'm going to go back to my blue and go one here, and another one here. So your loom should look something like this now down here and I'm going back to my pink now. Take one band vertically, other one goes diagonally, this one here goes diagonally. Taking my blue and doing two now. Taking my pink, doing one and then two. And then one last one. And then taking my blue, doing one here and another one here. Back to my pink. I'm trying to get one band on there. And then my second one. And then my third one here. Going back to my blue. One there, one here, almost finished. Gotta do my last pink ones. One, two, and three. So when you're finished, you're going to go ahead and check over your loom now, make sure that it looks similar to mine. And if so, we are now going to go ahead and add on some cap bands here. So, for this you can use the same color as your border, however today I am going to use clear jelly. So for this you're just going to take one band at a time, start at the top of your loom on the second pin in the middle pin bar, and then we're going to take one band like I said, wrap it around here three times. So one, two, and three. Just like that. And then after that you're going to go down to the next one. Oh, sorry about the camera. One, two, and three. Move down one. One, two, and three. Move down to the next one. One, two, and three and basically you're going to go ahead and do that same thing all the way down till the bottom of your loom only on the center pin bar so I'm not going to go as slow anymore since this is pretty much the same thing over and over again and if you don't have enough bands this part isn't really necessary but it adds to making the bracelet have a much cleaner look so I'm gonna go ahead almost done here And it doesn't matter the directions you go in, you can twist in alternating directions and stuff like that, but the, dire the direction that you twist in for this bracelet honestly doesn't really matter. So, when you get to the very bottom, you want to wrap the cap band around twice instead of three times. I'm just going to go and switch back to white for this, so you're going to go one and two. So that way you've got two on this one instead of three that you did on all the other ones. So when you're completely finished your loom should look something like this. And we are now ready to go ahead and start the hooking process. So we're first going to go inside of this cap band first. We're going to hook all of these citrus bands here which are my pink and blue Persian bands. So we're going to go inside the cap band, grab the top next band other than the cap bands, of course, and pick that up, pull that over here, just like that, 
Then you're going to go in, grab this next one, pull that over here, and then do the same thing for the top one so that way you've hooked those all outwards as you can see here. Now we're going to go inside the next cap band and the only places our hook is going to go inside of are the center pin bar pins. So just to let you know that we're not ever going to grab bands from another pin other than in the center pin bar. And then hook the next one over and that should be hooked vertically or diagonally. So that way you should have something like this now. After that we're going to go inside this cap band right here and hook that over here, inside here, and hook that next band over, then go inside one last time and hook that band vertically. So now we're going to go up to this next one and hook this next band diagonally here. And then over this way. Then we're going to go up to this next cap band, hook that over here, and then do the same exact thing for the next bands. Oh goodness, let go of that one. That's okay. Can always pick that back up. Just like that, go up to the next one. like that. So you probably are getting the gist of how to hook this bracelet so I'm not going to go as um, slow anymore so just remember you're going inside the cap band grabbing each of the band layers one at a time and hooking them to the right spot. And be careful and make sure you're only grabbing the bands that you're wanting to grab. And I'm on my last little citrus burst thing right here. Just hook those the same. Like that. So now we're just going to do a quick loom check. Just make sure your loom looks something like this. And if so, we are now going to finish off our bracelet by hooking the border. So we're going to go inside the cap band for this, inside the top two, grab the third layer and hook that over. Then we're going to go inside, grab the bottom layer, hook that up, up there. And then we're just going to go along and hook the border all the way down to the top of our loom, or all the way up to the top of our loom. So I'm just going to alternate between the left and right sides. And I'm not going to go super slow for this because basically you're going inside of all the bands except for the bottom one and then you grab the bottom one and hook that forward or to the next pin. So this part is pretty easy. Might take a little bit longer for those of you who are newer to looming because it is a little bit tricky to make sure you go inside all the right bands and pick up the right band. But just keep going. Oh goodness, bump the camera on that one, sorry. I, my camera stand that I usually use for filming broke, so I am using an, a different one that definitely doesn't work as well as my other one because it's got like poles and supportive things, beams and stuff in the way of my hands, so I keep bumping it. I'm not used to something being blocking my hands. So, sorry about that, I will be getting a different or fixing the camera stand soon. So 
so I'm at the top of my loom now and then when you're finished just go over to the left side first and hook that in and then after that you can do the right side right here okay so I did go a little bit quicker on the border so if you need more time just don't hesitate to pause the video but if you're finished let's just do one last loom check here and if your loom looks like mine, then we can go ahead and remove everything off of our loom except for what's here on this pin. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to take a single band of whatever border color you're using, stick your hook inside of all the bands on this pin right here, grab this one link, pull it through all of those bands here with your hook. So that way you've created a single chain link extension here that holds on to all the bands on your loom. So then you can slide this up your hook and now we are ready to remove everything off of our loom. So here is my citrus wave bracelet right now and we are going to go ahead and make an extension for this since obviously this isn't long enough to go around our wrists. So you can do any kind of extension you'd like, however today I'm just going to do the simple and standard single chain extension. So I'm going to start with my looms, arrows pointing down, and make a single chain with my same color of border bands that I've been using and I'm not going to go slow during this part just because this is the most basic thing that you can do with any type of bracelet basically. Almost every bracelet on your loom that takes up the entire loom to make will require a an extension. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these all down. Get my last white band here. Like that. And so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight links here for my extension and what we're going to do now is take your bracelet go to the bottom here put this on your loom and we're going to go ahead and start the hooking process so just going to hook this not going to go slow during this part because this bracelet is easy to hook Okie dokie, and I did that pretty fast. So uh, now when you're finished, you're going to grab your C-clip, slide it onto all the bands that are on the very top pin, and then remove everything off of your loom. Then you can connect both ends together with the cap band that we put on at the beginning. Just like that. And we are now finished with our Citrus Wave bracelet. So anyways, that is how you make this really awesome bracelet. I really hope you guys liked this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. And hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And find me on all my social media sites that are in the description box down below. And once again, thank you all so much for watching this video. And I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye!